Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the best AMDC. And like many, you may be prone to think that frame locks make better folding knives than liner locks, that they're better, stronger, or whatever. But that's not always the case. So here are five ways that liner locks are actually better than frame locks. And with that said, let's do the damn thing. So for starters, let's just cover the bases, frame locks and liner locks, what those terms mean. They're very similar in function and form, but they are different in some pretty significant ways. Liner locks and frame locks are two of the most common locks in folding knives. So let's start with a liner lock. This is what they refer to as a scale, this piece on the outside here. And on the inside of that is a liner on either side of the knife. And on one side, depending on left or right handed, most of the time right-handed, you have a spring bar that will snap up and interface with the tang of the blade and lock it open so that it can't be closed. Usually it's a thin piece of steel, sometimes titanium, and then to disengage the lock, you pull that down and the blade is allowed to close. A frame lock does not have scales, it just has handles. That lock is actually part of the handle, the frame. So instead of having a liner running on the inside, the entire piece of this frame snaps to interface with the tang of the blade to lock it open. Basically the exact same concept, but you're using the entire width of the handle material instead of just a liner that runs along the inside. So by default and just on paper and just common sense, you would think that a frame lock is stronger and better and just more versatile, but that's that's not always true. So the first way that liner locks are better than frame locks is that in general, they're easier to open. And let's use this knife right here as an example of why that is. I often hand this knife to people just to mess with them. This is a Chris Reeve Unimzon. It is a frame lock, and by many, it's considered to be one of the harder knives to open. And one of the reasons for that is, one, it has really, really strong, this one in particular has really strong lock bar tension, but the positioning of this lock bar, when people go to open it, they end up pushing on the lock bar, which just locks the knife in place. It basically locks it closed. You really can't open this if you push on the lock bar. You have to get your fingers off the lock bar in order to open the knife. On a liner lock, you don't really have to worry about that. And the reason for that is because the scale prevents you from pushing on the lock bar and locking the blade closed. You don't really have to worry as much about how you hold the knife, where your hands are positioned or fingers are positioned. You can just grab it and snap it open. So for someone who is new to knives or doesn't use them often, a liner lock is generally gonna be way easier for them to open. The second way that liner locks are better than frame locks for EDC is I would say in general, liner locks are gonna be more lightweight. And the reason for that is that by definition, a frame lock is gonna have a thick slab of titanium or steel for at least the lock side so that it can be structurally sound and be able to lock the knife open. Whereas with a liner lock, you can have a thin liner of steel or titanium. And then on the outside, you can have a more lightweight material such as G10, Micarta, Altum, uh, Grivery, FRN. There's so many, just a multitude of very, very lightweight handle materials that you can use for the scales because you don't have to worry about them being structurally sound in terms of being able to lock the knife open. You do have like internal pocket milling for weight reduction on frame locks. But in general, I would say that liner locks are gonna be on average more lightweight. And for some people, and maybe even most people, this is a non-issue. People don't necessarily always care about the weight of the knife, but a lot of you do. I don't necessarily, but a perfect example of the weight difference is this right here. I have two ABW knives. This one is a liner lock with my Carta scales, and this is a titanium frame lock. This one is like 3.5, 3.6 ounces, and this one is over four ounces. So it's not a massive difference, but it is a difference. The third reason is gonna sound a little bit weird to some of you, but liner locks are more ergonomic than frame locks most of the time. Uh, and the reason for that is because with a frame lock, part of the handle has to move to engage with the tang of the blade to keep it locked open. So what that means is it gets skinnier on the lock side when the lock is engaged. And on some knives, this is almost completely unnoticeable, but on a lot of them, and this hinderer just being one of those, it's very noticeable and it feels a little weird sometimes. So that's where scales on a liner lock come into play. 
the outside dimensions never change. It's only internal movement from that liner or the spring bar to engage the lock. So the outside always stays the same and it fills the hand a little bit better and I think just makes for better ergonomics all around. So the next two reasons are more aesthetics than anything else. So it really comes down to personal preference. But number four being that liner locks are usually a little more symmetrical and balanced in design than frame locks. And what I mean by that is on a liner lock knife, you typically have the same design on both sides. You have a solid scale. Usually it matches on both sides. You don't have to make any kind of uh, accommodations for a lock bar. But for instance, if you want micarta on a frame lock knife, what you're gonna have to do is a micarta show side scale or an inlay. And what that means is they're not gonna match. So a good example of that is this XM18 from Hinderer. I have a micarta scale on it. There is a titanium liner on the show side. And then on the lock bar side, it's all titanium, no micarta. The inlay version of that would be something like this uh, Neon NL from Shirogorov. There's a micarta inlay on this side with some titanium that's still exposed. And on the lock bar side, there's an inlay that's a totally different shape and size because it has to accommodate for the lock bar. So if you don't like that unbalanced or asymmetric style of a frame lock with micarta or G10 or Ultim inlays or whatever it may be, you're probably gonna to wanna to stick to a liner lock. The fifth way that frame locks are inferior to liner locks is customization. So what I mean by that is if you wanna customize a frame lock knife like this Umnumzan, you're really limited to customizing the finishes on the material that's already there. So you can anodize the titanium, bead blast it, stonewash it, DLC or Cerakote, but that's really the extent short of completely replacing the handles, which is like replacing two thirds of the knife. On the other hand, if you find a very popular liner lock knife, there's most likely going to be some form of aftermarket scales for that. This TRM Atom is a really great example of that. These scales are hot swappable, so you can buy additional scales from TRM, and then you don't have to take the whole knife apart to customize it. You can just take some screws out, pop the new scales on, and you're not really interfering with the mechanics of the knife at all. The same goes for the lander from NAFS and a lot of other liner lock knives. You can buy all sorts of different scales and you can change it up every single day very easily, but frame locks, not so easy to customize, at least not over and over and over again. So that's all I have for you today, but that's not the full story, right? There, there are many reasons that frame locks are better than liner locks. And, and I'll touch on that in a future video. Um, and I'd say for me personally, I carry frame locks probably 75% of the time for no particular reason. I like both liners and frame locks, probably just have more frame locks. Um, but then there's this perfect middle ground, which is called the bolster lock. And it's, it's part liner, it's part frame, so we'll talk about this a little bit more in the future, but I wanna hear from you guys what you prefer, liner lock or frame lock and why. Tell me in the comments down below. But that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you found it helpful and interesting, hit the like button down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in a future video. And until then, carry on.